It's a beautiful Tuesday morning. How do you do? I guess you are good. Ah, the program is Jitaya's World, fully sponsored by Jitaya Music Production, North Carolina, USA. I believe you are following us on our social media platform at Oluakande. Don't be left out. We have a lot of goodies for you. And you know, you can download all Oluakande's music on iTunes and other digital platforms. Yeah, once again, be my guest on today's program. I am Dele Oguntola, your anchor man. Blessed be the Lord, my rock and my strength. Who cheated my hands to work. And my fingers to fight in the land of the living. Now to the business of the day, the first segment of the program. This is my story. I believe you learned a lesson from Fanny J. Crosby's story. Now listen to my story too. My name is Mrs. Elizabeth Payson Prentice. I was born in 1818 in Portland. I was the youngest daughter of Dr. Edward Payson, who was a pastor of a Presbyterian church. I was educated in the public schools in Portland. When I was 16 years old, I sold the first of my articles. It was published in the nationally circulated magazine, Youth's Companion, which was the most widely read publication for young people in America. I attended a two-year course in a normal school, which was a teacher's training school, qualifying graduate to teach in the government primary schools. I became a teacher even though I was a lifelong invalid, seldom free from pain. When I was 26 years old, I married Dr. George Lewis Prentice, a Presbyterian pastor. After my marriage, I continued to teach and to write religious prose, articles and poetry for publication. We moved to New York City in 1851. My husband and I were blessed with two children and we were a very happy family. Then, one winter, both our children became healed, and they both died. Hmm. During those days of deep personal sorrow, I wrote the poem, More Love to Thee, O Christ. The poem was my heartfelt prayer as I attempted to overcome my grief and not let my thoughts blame God. I did not show the poem to anyone, not even to my husband, for many years. When my husband finally saw the poem, he persuaded me to let him print it on small leaflets. My husband had been comforted by the words and he sent copies of the leaflets to some of his close friends. One of his friends sent his copy to William H. Duan, who had composed tunes for many of the hymn tests of Fanny Crosby. Dr. Duan quickly composed a tune to fit the words. The hymn was published and it immediately became very popular. It was sung many times during the Great Revival that swept America in 1870. It soon spread around the world, being translated into many languages, including Arabic and Chinese. That my hymn kept ringing. More love to thee, O Christ. More love to thee. Yeah, thou the prayer I make on Bended knees. Hmm. I published books and book of inns. I would have loved to do more. But I am not with you again. I died in 1878 at the age of 59. This is my story. <sighs> Mrs. Elizabeth Prentice. She was described as a bright eyed little woman with a keen sense of humor who cared more to shine in her own happy household than a wide circle of society. Hmm. Did you know that for much of her life, she lived the life of a near invalid, a body often racked with pain? It was during these times that she had to refocus her understanding of her own value and worth from doing to being. She said, I see now that to live for God, whether one is allowed ability to be actively useful or not, is a great thing 
and that it is a wonderful mercy to be allowed even to suffer, if thereby one can glorify him. So, dear friend, you have no reason not to be useful for God. This is my story. Now let us listen to the music of the day. The title of the track for today is Feel This Place. When you come around, your glory will be with this place. When you turn around, your glory will be with this place. When you come around, your glory will be with this place. When you turn around, your glory will be with this place. When you come around, yeah. Download Olua Kande's music online on all digital platforms. Also follow Olua Kande on YouTube, Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook. Just type Olu 
Akande. Don't forget to subscribe on Olu Akande's YouTube channel and ensure you click the notification button. For those of you that took part last week during our weekly quiz, you can be a winner this week. Fantastic gifts awaits you again this week from Jitayo Music Production USA. If you missed last week's quiz, this week, don't be left out. Just be a subscriber on Olu Akade's YouTube and Instagram. Now to the word for the week from the CEO, Jitayo Music Production, North Carolina, USA. Good day. I'm Olu Akande, founder of Jitayo Music. Welcome to today's program. One of the keys of prophecy is to strengthen us. The key is to exempt us from an upcoming danger. It is to provide wisdom, most especially when it comes in a negative form. Today, I'm talking to you about be still my soul. When God is in action, when God is at work, our soul be still. Because things are working, God is working in his power. He's working in our favor. And I pray God we from today walk in your favor in Jesus' name. I want to encourage you to find time to pray. Pray and pray. Pray in the spirit. Let your prayer create an event. When you pray, devil should be in trouble. There is a ripple effect, both in spiritual and physical realm. When we pray, sickness, sorrow should not be hanging around in the presence of the Most High. Psalm 118 verse 15. Shout of joy and victory. Resound in the tent of the righteous. Hmm. Resound every moment continuously. And there shall be sound of joy in your home in Jesus' name. The Lord's right hand has done mighty things. It works only if you work it. We are transformation leaders as the children of God. Praying in the spirit, becoming valuable. John Wesley mentioned, he said, set yourself on fire with passion and people will come for miles to watch you burn. Let your prayer and worship be your passion, your weapon, and your strength. Also, I want to encourage today in the corporate life of prayer. There is power in corporate life and prayer. It says how good and pleasant it is when people come together and pray in unity. There is a corporate grace. Don't let development isolate you and land you in isolation. In essentials, unity in non-essential liberty and in all things charity be still my soul god knows your way and he will guide you for his name's sake keep the motivation high be still my soul when you pray a vavence prayer pray in the spirit god arise in his majesty when we worship when our worship goes up be still my soul and god making things worse together for good I pray his presence will start making things happen, making things work together for good, for you, for your life, for your family, in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Remain blessed. I hope you are inspired. Our program is coming very soon. Tagged Rehobot. Live in Ogbomashaw. I will give you the update later. During the program, there will be a special time of Art to Heart Talk with the CEO of Jitayo Music. But before then, you can call the director of operation, Jitayo Music Production USA, on plus one two three one six two zero four two zero eight or plus two three four eight one two six four seven two nine nine four. Let me call those numbers for you again. Plus one two three one six two zero four two zero eight or plus two three four eight one two Six four seven two nine nine four. Hi, if you want to invite Jitayo's band to your event, or maybe you want to link up with the CEO of Jitayo Music, the director of operation will lead you aright. Ah, so that's all for today. Join me next week for a fresh episode of the program. I am Dele Ogontola, your uncle man. God bless you. When you come around, your glory will fill this When you turn around.